Hello friends, today is day 11 of our 30 day declutter challenge and today we're going to be decluttering small appliances. Okay, so before I pull out all those appliances, I wanted to share with you that I got those cool white floodlights in. As you know, I struggle with these lights being too yellow when I try to film, which takes up more time for me to go in and edit out all the yellow. So my husband's going to get up here this week and he's going to change these out. And I really hope that it works and I hope that I like it because I kind of don't like cool white, but we'll see. So while we're over here, I was watching Jenny's channel. She's over with Cleaning Therapy, and um, she is doing a Dare to Declutter series um, on her channel. And one of the things that she mentioned was um, checking up on the top of your cabinets. If any of those things are things that you might want to declutter. Now, I do know that I need to get up there and clean those things. But now that she's mentioned it, I'm looking up there and I'm seeing that there is a couple of things that I'd like to go ahead and take down. Now, I'm not going to be able to do it myself, but when my husband puts in those new lights, I'm going to have him reach over and grab two or three of these things for me to put in the declutter pile. So if you aren't already watching Jenny's Dare to Declutter series, I would highly suggest that you go over to her channel and watch it. Her channel is called Cleaning Therapy, and she has such a calm and sweet disposition. Okay, so the first appliance that I'm going to go ahead and declutter out of my kitchen is my Instant Pot. Now, when this first came out, I used it all the time. But you know, I never really found a recipe that I love in the Instant Pot, with the exception of boiled eggs. And now I get those at Costco. So I really don't need the Instant Pot, so I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I showed you this before, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this can opener. Now, I got this can opener for my mother um, right before she passed away and I inherited it back when she did pass away but it's beginning to rust and it's seen its better days so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it but I think I'll go ahead and throw it in the trash because of the rust that it has on it but let me show you what I replaced it with this is the Kitchen Mama cordless can opener and I really like this one it does not have that sharp blade and what I really like about it is when it cuts the top off it's cutting underneath the lid so it leaves a little lip that you can stick the top back on the can if you need to. No sharp edges here. I will put a link to this one down in my description box. Okay and this appliance right here is a vegetable spiralizer. Now there was a time that I used to like to make um, zoodles and if you've ever seen the small handheld zoodle it's very hard to use so I went ahead and I got this larger one because I was having to make large batches of them. I had a lot of family that lived with us so I had to make large batches so this was just easier for me to use. However I only used it for zucchini. I, I didn't use it for all the other things that you can use it for like for carrots and um, I don't know, you can make all kinds of things with this. It makes ribbon um, noodles and, you know, all with um, vegetables. So it's really cool, but I don't use it. And now it's just my husband and I, and I can just get a handheld one if I need it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go too. All right, so I was influenced, and I'm sure that you may have gotten influenced, to buy the Bissell Steam Shot. Now, this is a good appliance, don't get me wrong. Um, I've done lots of things with it that I really, um, you know, think that it did help me. However, I don't use it enough. If I used it more, then it would make more sense for me to keep it. But what I am going to do is I'm going to bag this up and um, my daughter Bethany wants to have it. That's really going to work out in my favor because the times that I need to use it, which is like once or twice a year, I can just borrow it from her and she gets to store it at her house. Anyways, my daughters and I like to do that. Um, one of us will buy an appliance and then hold it at their house. And then we all just um, borrow it from that person. And that way we're not all having the same appliance at our house. So like right now, I have Bethany's small carpet cleaner that I use on my rugs. But then when I need to borrow a bigger carpet cleaner, I go to Madeline's house. They can hold those and I can borrow them. And then it goes um, the other way too. I have things that they like to borrow, but they don't want to store at their house. So one of us buys an appliance and then we all share that appliance. 
So this right here is going to Bethany's house and she is super happy. Okay, so here's all the things that I'm getting out of the house on day 11. I have gathered so many things and it's really exciting. So the Bissell's going to Bethany's house, the can opener's going in the trash, and the spiralizer and the instant pot are going to be donated. So I hope that you guys like this video and that you give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. I will see you again tomorrow morning. Until then, stay blessed, my friends.